Hey, what up? This is Brad here, and today we're going to take apart the Sony Xperia Z5. Now, the first thing I'm going to have to do is remove the rear glass with a heat gun. Be careful not to get it too hot. We're going to want to do a few passes around the phone. At this point, you're going to want to grab your guitar pick and your opening tool. Now, you insert the opening tool at the edge of the rear cover, pull it up, and then put in your guitar pick, which will run down the sides of the phone. Move it down like so. You can now go to the other side. and keep running it down the other side of the phone. So we're slowly lifting and prying the screen off the frame. And the final corner now. At this point, our rear cover should just pop off. Now we're gonna need to remove the battery. To make it a bit easier, we're gonna move the bracket for the loudspeaker. We need to get a Phillips screwdriver. There's two screws down the bottom underneath the battery. Obviously, you simply unscrew them. And now to the left of the battery. And now we can remove the metal cover. Just be careful here if you use uh, metal tools. Fingers of plastics are a lot safer. Rather away. Now we can see at the bottom of the battery there's a couple strips, little black strips. We can simply peel these out. Don't forget of course to remove your battery connector though. You can do this with your fingers pretty easily as you can see here. Now. Pull them out and you're going to have a little bit of adhesive. You can remove this a little bit better by pulling it out from the phone. And now for the second adhesive strip. Pull that out. Again, you can have some residual adhesive. Now these release strips generally work better, but one way to fix this is by grabbing a screwdriver and using it a stick with cotton candy, or if you're in Australia or England, fairy floss. But pull that out, I think you can use as tweezers. You might find that your screwdriver gets quite sticky. Pull it out, twirl it, and start, you can start yanking at this point. You basically want to move as much adhesive as possible so we can get this battery out. Of course it's good if we could have removed these release strips clean, but that doesn't always happen. At this point we should remove the battery. Just pry it from the side, fingers are generally okay. Making sure, of course, that battery connector was released. 
Now we want to turn our attention to the loudspeaker assembly. To the right of that is a vibrator motor. We probably just want to release that. There's a little bracket over the vibrator motor here that we now will release. Now we can turn our attention to releasing the flex cable for the vibrator motor. We're going to need to pull this off because it's stuck down to adhesive to the bracket. Start prying the bracket off just to start wiggling it. Now, as you can see, the flex cable is now fully unstuck from the assembly. We can now start working to take that off. You might want to use screwdrivers to pry. There you go. Now we're going to want to start taking off all the flexes, starting with the main flex, which is also the side button flex, which is here. Just work your way through the phone, popping them all off with your fingers. They're pretty easy to see. At this point, head up to the top of the phone where you'll find your camera and audio flexes. Keep in mind there's three up here. Now we can grab a Phillips screwdriver and release this rubber bracket here. There's four screws all up holding in the motherboard. Turn left hand side and turn the right. Now there's your rubber bracket removed. To get to the top screw on the right, you have to just push away the audio jack flex. And the final one is again on the right, but lower. Now we can remove the main camera to get the motherboard out. Once that's out, we're going to gently pry the motherboard. We a little bit. And you can now probably pull it out. There we go. Start working in the flexes for the screen. We want to be able to pull them out as easily as possible. There's also a metal bracket in here.
give the bracket a bit of a wiggle. Being careful for the flex cables course. Now turn your attention to removing the screen flex. It's adhered to the screen frame. There you go. Make sure it's pried back nicely. Okay, so now we're ready to remove the screen. We're gonna clean up a little bit here. Okay, grab your gun. Now we want to focus especially on the top of the screen. Running down the sides of the phone. Now grab your opening tool and wedge it in. We're gonna start here at the bottom by the flex cable just so we can get that through first. Grab your guitar pick once that's in and run it along. We may have to put the heat gun back on the top of the screen here. And move it down the edge. We're basically here just cutting the adhesive. Again, the more broken a screen is, the harder this is going to be. A lot of the tutorials you'll see on YouTube. Don't even have a broken screen. You're probably gonna need more heat here. Now quickly try to get your pick back in and run it along the sides until the corner. There you go. That's okay if the glass breaks, especially with a screen this badly broken. Grab your heat gun again. And just run it around the other side. It'll just make it a lot easier. So now there's all been cut, you can pry the screen forward. Taking notice of course the flex cables through the back that we're trying to pull through.
just take off something excess adhesive here and lift up like a clamshell. Now, of course, we're going to have to clean up. There's also a lot of residual glass and adhesive. To start removing that now. Now we can clean up a bit. Obviously there's gonna be a lot of broken glass around you, so be careful. Isopropyl alcohol is good for this. It basically just means we can clean the edge where the new adhesive will stick down. There's a very thin strip that the spirits all have to stick the screen to the frame. So this is kind of important. Otherwise you'll get problems like lifting issues. Just run around the cloth down the side. Run the cloth down the sides a couple of times, make sure it's clean. And that's the end of this video. You can click the link for the next video to watch where we put the screen back on. Uh, make sure you subscribe. And thanks for watching, guys.